some time ago, a funeral director in this area gave me a CD. It was a CD of Bette Midler, but it didn't contain any of the songs of Bette Midler. It contained the songs of a very famous nightclub singer called Peggy Lee. And one of the titles of the song caught my attention. It was entitled, Is That All There Is? It was the story of a woman whose entire life was besought by tragedy. The week she was born, the family home was destroyed by fire. And the tragedies continue until she dies of cancer at a very young age. And as, Peg, as Mitt Midler tells the story, after this story, this comes this verse. Is that all there is? Is that all there is, my friend? If that's all there is, let's bring out the booze. Let's have a ball. Let's have a party if that's all there is. In other words, she is saying, if life is meaningless, if life is purposeless, and if your destiny and my destiny is the same as the animals of the forest and the birds of the air, then right now, let's bring out the Chianti. Let's bring out the Aguardiente. <laughs> let's bring out the Jameson Irish whiskey. Let's have a ball, if that is all there is to our lives. But we are gathered here this evening because we believe differently. We believe that God has created each and every one of us, and that he has given a mission to each and every one of us, a special mission, so that when we do it, we will leave the world a better place than we found it. This morning, thousands of people have gathered at the tomb of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. And they have gathered there because this tomb is different from all the other tombs in the world. The Taj Mahal in India, the Pyramides, Westminster Abbey in London, the Stalin Museum in Red Square in Moscow. And if you visit any of these, there'll always be a tourist guide, and he will say to you, here lies the body of Joseph Stalin. You go to the pyramids and he will, the tourist guide will say, here lies the body of young King Tutankhamen. You fly to London and you go to Westminster Abbey and the tourist guide will take you into St. George's Chapel and he will say, here lies the body of the great English poet William Wordsworth. But those who were gathered in Jerusalem this morning at the tomb of the Holy Sepulchre, the tourist guide will not say to them, here lies the body of Jesus Christ. He won't say that. He cannot say that. Because at the very entrance to the tomb are these words, he is not here. And he's not there because on the very first Easter morning, the Lord came forth from the tomb and now lives forevermore. And that's why we are here this evening. 